its components. Where does the food come from? Friends, we all eat different kinds of food at different times, isn't it? Such a vast variety that we like. In fact, there seems to be so much variety in the foods that we eat. But have you ever thought, where does this food come from? These food items are either obtained from plant or animal. But what are these food items made of? Think about rice cooked at home. Just two materials or ingredients are needed to prepare a dish of boiled rice, that is, raw rice and water. On the other hand, some food items are made with many ingredients. To prepare vegetable curry, we need different kind of vegetables, salt, spices, oil and so on. Food materials and sources It may be easy for us to guess the sources of some of the ingredients. Fruits and vegetables, for instance, where do they come from? Plants, of course. You know that, right? What are the sources of rice or wheat? You may have seen paddy or wheat fields with rows and rows of plants which give us these grains. And then there are food items like milk, eggs, meat, chicken, fish, prawns, beef, pork and such others which all come from animals. Plants are the sources of food ingredients like grains, cereals, vegetables and fruits. Animals provide us milk, meat products and eggs. Cows, goats and buffaloes are some common animals which give us milk. Milk and milk products like butter, cream, cheese and curd are used all over the world. Yes, even the burgers and pizzas that you love to eat has cheese made out of milk. Plant parts and animal production as food. Plants are one source of our food. We eat many leafy vegetables. We also eat fruits of some plants, right? Sometimes roots, sometimes stems, and even flowers. Some plants have two or more edible, that is, eatable parts. Can you think of the different parts of a banana plant that are used as food? Let us do an activity. Take some dry seeds of moong or chana. Put a small quantity of seeds in a container filled with water and leave this aside for a day. Next day, drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel. Wrap them in a piece of wet cloth and set aside. Next day, what are you going to find? Small white structures may have grown out of the seeds. So, this means that the seeds have sprouted. Need a food. Why do we need food? Well, that's simple. We need food to stay alive. Food gives us energy to work and play. It makes our body grow. It helps our body fight diseases, and stay healthy. Children who do not get enough food are weak. They fall sick very often.
different foods give us different things. That is why, to be healthy, we need different types of food. Types of Nutrients Grouping of Nutrients Nutrients are those elements present in the food which provide the body with energy and enable it to grow, repair and maintain itself. It is thus necessary to understand the exact role of nutrients in our food and recognize the various foods that provide these nutrients. There are almost 40 essential nutrients of which proteins, carbohydrates and fats are the macronutrients which form the three main classes of food. Vitamins and minerals are the micronutrients required in minute quantities by the body. Food nutrients can be classified according to their function. Energy-rich foods These foods break down to release energy. Part of the energy is used for mechanical muscular work and another part is used to synthesize complex compounds or is stored in high energy compounds such as adenosine triphosphate ATP or creatine phosphate CP. Example, fats and carbohydrates, rice, wheat, potato, oil, ghee, sugar. Bodybuilding foods. The nutrients synthesize compounds which help to make the cellular elements, intracellular structures, bones, cartilages and skin. In other words, these build mass and repair tissues. Example, proteins such as milk, meat, egg white, pulses like dolls, gram, peas, etc. Protective foods. These foods are vital for body functions and the absence of these nutrients result in deficiency diseases. Example, vitamins and minerals.